Hello Squids, this is Squeeva with another uh, JOGL 3D Graphics Java tutorial. Okay, let's get started. This is like my third time recording this video because I messed up all the other times. Oh. <coughs> oh, I already have these imported from the last times I recorded this. <gasps> Alright, um, I'll get to that in a second. Actually, I'm just going to remove the unused imports because I want to show you. that I want to show you. Alright, um, so you can start off with doing agile event listener, which was one of the imports I just re removed. Ah, new gel event listener. See, I never spell this correctly. Import it. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's worked. So then you add the un un <coughs> unimplemented methods. Alright, so once you've done that, you do add gel event listener. Yeah, you saw what I just did. You do that. Um, so then what you can do is you can go ahead and you can change the. You can do that to auto draw, pseudo draw. Auto draw and init auto draw. Init auto draw. I add, yeah, okay. This be 80 for auto draw and I add for init, init I add, auto draw. Um, <coughs> what, <coughs> what each of these methods do is this displays things like objects. If you create a bunch of vertices in a, ob, in a quads object, which I'll get into, it'll display that. And also, you set up things like matrix mode. This, uh, I haven't touched upon that a ton, but you don't do anything in there. This, uh, you do things like lighting and materials, material mapping, and here, re it kind of resizes things when you change the frame. So when you change the size of the frame, like I set that to false, but if you set that to true, when you were to blow up the screen, it would blow up the object relative to the screen, and I don't want it to do that. I don't want to do that in this example, but anyways, um... Here, okay, so quickly you do gl gl equals um, 80 dot get g, yeah, okay, 80 dot get gl. Um, if you're using gl2, like if you downloaded the gl2 packages, it you would do dot get gl2. If you, if you were using gl2, you would do that. But I'm using GL1. So then you do GL dot <coughs> GL uh what? Oh my god. Okay, dot GL clear. And then you do GL dot GL color buffer bit or GL dot GL. I forgot what this one was. Right. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, what the crap? Damn it. That GL. Debt. Buffer bit. All right, there you go. Okay, that was weird. I don't know why that happened. I hit, I hit a hot key. I wasn't supposed to hit, and stuff went down. All right, gl dot gl. Gl matrix mode. Gl dot gl. And I'm gonna use projection for this one. There are others, I don't know what they are, I just use projection. Actually, I don't think I'm actually supposed to use projection, but it works, therefore I use it. <coughs> GL dot... GL... <gasps> Load identity. Alright, let me just check r something real quick. Alright, yeah, that's correct, and I have a list of chords next to me because I'm too lazy to actually figure out what coordinates draw 
a plane in a 3D in 3D space. So let's continue, shall we? Um, you do gl dot gl <coughs> begin gl dot gl begin and in there you put gl dot gl. Damn it! Yeah. Okay. So you do gl dot gl quads. You do not want quad quad strip. There are a few things you would want quad strip quad strip, but not here. That is winter break, and I this is I'm tired. I'm sick. All right. Yeah. There we go. Let's just check to see. Oh, I forgot to save. Okay. Stop running for change. Yeah, okay. There. Alright, so it worked. If the background is black, it worked. Alright, so. We may proceed with drawing our first vertice, which is at the coordinates I'm about to type in. So. Right, okay. GL dot. GL. Vert. See, I'm not. I don't get why it takes so long to load that, but it's worse at my school computers. Vertex 3. 3 float. Okay. F stands for float. And it's at the coordinates negative 5. Negative 5. Zero. Alright. It's important that you have the F, because that stands for float. Well, like I've said millions of times, I don't know why I keep saying that. Oh, okay. Then we set the color. Where do we set the? I don't want to set the color. I'll get to that later. That's extra. All right. Gl dot g. Actually, no. You can just copy that. You can just copy and paste that four times and change the coordinates. Oh yes, and I do have this code on my website. So copy and paste that four times. Every good coder knows the art of copy and pasting. Or three times over. <coughs> so it makes four times. And then over here. Okay. There you go. Right, okay. Delete. There. And then for the last. Oh, okay. That works. And when you run this. Right. There. Okay, that's in 3D space, but it's plain. We're not rotating it yet. We haven't set any colors to it, which we'll get in the next tutorial. So, in the next tutorial, or episode 4, I'm going to have. I'm going to make it so it rotates with the FPS animator. Oh. FPS animator is juggle too. Just animator. And. Yeah, and then we're going to set the colors. Okay. <coughs> Thank you, f Squids, for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, any questions. Check out the channels of the other squid Squids, preferably preferably that guy named Uncle Sam the Gamer. Squiv out. Lazy intro.